Hello and welcome to my channel. Today, I want to show you my 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter. I have been using this almost every day for more than a year now. This powers my fridge during the daytime and a few lights as well. First of all, I want to tell this is going to be a video review and I have not been sponsored by this company in any way. So, in this video, I will be discussing on why I went for a pure sine wave inverter. Then, we will have a look at the build quality of this one. And, at the end of the video, I will do a load test and show this inverter in action. If you like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my future videos. So what's the big deal with pure sine wave and modified sine wave inverters? Actually, there are three types. One is square wave, modified sine wave, and pure sine wave. Square wave, as the name implies, is a square-shaped wave. This was found in older inverters, and they were mainly used for resistive loads, such as light bulbs and heaters. They are not good for induction loads, such as appliances that use motors. Modified sine wave is again a square wave but with an additional step in the middle. They can run resistive loads such as bulbs and heaters and also they can run induction inductive loads but they are not as efficient as the pure sine wave and the equipment tends to make a humming noise as well. This is especially not good if you are going to use audio devices. Pure sine wave it's like normal mains electricity. It's the best wave for induction loads, such as water pumps, fridges, and fans. And it's the most efficient type of wave. It will run most of your house equipment without a problem, and you won't get any humming noise. But the problem is they are quite expensive. I got this one mainly for my fridge, because I wanted something that would e efficiently run the compressor. Now let's take a look at the build quality of this one. It comes in a nice metal encasing and as you can see it has an on off switch in the front, a fault indicator here and it comes with this AC outlet here and if you look at the back side there's an exhaust fan and these are the two terminals for the DC input. This one here is a 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter and this is actually peak 1000. Its continuous output rating is 500 watts. Okay, so let's open this up and have a look at how it looks inside. Okay, so this is how it looks on the inside. First of all, I have to say that I am now expert at electronics here, but I'll just give you a brief idea on what caught my eye. Now this unit is rated at 1000 watts peak and 500 continuous. So for that amount, these wires are adequate to handle the amperage. And here you have two fuses, which are rated at 40 amps and 30 amps. So in total it's 70 amps. So this unit should be able to take in 840 watts maximum. Another thing which happened when I first got this unit was this fan was not working. What had happened was it had been broken at one end. So I had to open it and fix it. And if you see here, this here is the pure sine wave generator. And overall the build quality looks good. Another issue I found was there is no earth wire connecting this to any plate on this uh, unit. So you have to always factor in putting, you have to put earth to your other wiring when you're designing your uh, solar powered unit. Right, so we'll close this up and go for the load test.
For this test, we are going to be powering this 50 watt pedestal fan using this pure sine wave inverter. But before that, I want to show you something interesting. The no load power consumption of this power inverter. That is, when there is no load attached to the inverter, we are going to see how much power it is consuming. So, I have currently set this to amps and we will power on the inverter. As you can see, it's consuming half an amp. And I don't know whether you can see that, we are currently at 14.4 volts. So, this inverter is using 7 watts of electricity without powering anything else. This is especially important to take into account when you're designing small units, because the inverter is going to draw 7 watts continuously overnight. Right, so let's power on this uh, pedestal fan and see how it's working. Okay, so now let's power on this induction load and see how it functions. It started off without any problem. There's no humming noise. It's functioning just like mains electricity. The maximum load I have powered with this inverter is a 240 watt electric pump. And in my previous videos, I showed you how it's using these supercapacitors, how it started a 108 watt electric fridge. This blender here is 250 watts. Right. So now let's test the speaker set on this pure sine wave inverter. Let's see how the sound comes. Okay, I'm going to increase the volume. Right, now we are at maximum volume, but you can only hear a slight humming noise in the background. So, in most cases, you should be able to use this sound equipment with this cheap pure sine wave inverter. So I hope you liked this video, if you liked my video please hit the like button and share it among your friends and also don't forget to subscribe, thanks for watching.